Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top six current favorite lipsticks. Now at first I thought of doing my top five favorites, but now I have six because I couldn't choose which one to remove from the list. So I ended up with picking up six and these six lipsticks are my absolutely favorite. And now I have the high-end category and the drugstore ones as well. So you can choose between which one you like the most. Now I have already filmed my top favorite lipsticks of 2020 but I don't use them anymore because I'm more towards the peachy pinky lip shades nowadays. I don't know. I'm still into nudes but I'm looking for something which has a pink undertone, a little bit of peach undertone to it. So yeah, I thought of sharing this with you and I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do then definitely let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit on that notification bell so that every single time I upload the video you will get notified so yeah without rambling much let's get started so starting off with what i am having on my lips right now and this one is in the shade apricot cuddle from uh, the chambord matte riot lipstick and this one is very affordable but the formula is quite nice and it's very comfortable on the lips it stays on you up to uh, four to five hours if you don't eat or drink anything if you eat or drink anything it's definitely gonna transfer and i don't really mind reapplying my lipsticks and bullet lipsticks are something that's very comfortable on the lips and and i don't really mind if my lipstick is transferring a little to my mask because if it's a disposable one i will definitely throw it off and if it's something that i can reuse i will definitely wash it and then use it so a little bit of transfer i don't mind but the comfortable formula is something that i really like but this lipstick is something that has perfect amount of brown to it it has a very nice peachy undertone and i think it's gonna suit a lot of indian skin tones so i really like this one Okay, then the next lipstick that I have on my lips right now and this one is from Sugar Cosmetics and this is in the shade Bear Hug from Nothing Else Matter Longwear Lipsticks and this lipstick formula is so good and I've already talked about in uh, so many of my videos that I really like the shade from this range called Browning Glory and I have used that so much and now I'm in love with two of the shades from the same range and the first one is called Bear Hug and this is how it looks like a beautiful peachy pinky shade it has a little bit of coral hint to it as well and it looks beautiful on day-to-day -day basis I mostly use it uh, if I'm going out in the daytime because it looks very pretty on the lips and you just have to use a little bit of blush and this lipstick and you are going to look amazing and if you are someone who is uh, more towards NC42 or darker than that, it might look a little neon on you. So what you can do is apply the lipstick and dab it with your finger and I think it's going to look nice on you. Uh, but I'm not sure, it might look a little weird on you. But the next shade that I'm going to show you, it, it's going to look amazing on you. someone who is scared to use the shade rose job because you think it might look a little weird on you you can definitely try this one this one is from the same range and this is in the shade beige turner such a beautiful shade it's a perfect nude on me and i'm loving this kind of nudes lately and yeah i would highly recommend this if you are looking for a good everyday nude lipstick try this one you guys i'm in love with the shade and these are the swatches so this is in the shade rose job this is more of a rosy toned nude and this is in the shade beige turner such a beautiful nude you guys The next lipstick that I have here is from MAC and this is in the shade Mocha. Such a beautiful Mocha brown shade and, and this one is such a beautiful beautiful Mocha brown shade and I use it mostly in the daytime when I'm going out because I think it's, it's just perfect for me. 
and in the daytime if i'm going out for a grocery shopping or something or if i'm going home so i prefer something which is very muted which has a little bit of color which doesn't make my face even more pale now in winter i'm very pale so uh, i prefer something which will give a little bit of color to my face but also it should look like very muted and neutral so i don't prefer anything very you know bam kind of lipsticks you guys know if you are following me for a while now so i prefer this kind of lipsticks and nude is something that's my jam i always always wear nude lipsticks if i'm going out so as you guys can see the colors are almost similar but they are not the same the undertones are different so currently i'm loving the lipsticks that has a little bit of peach undertone to it or that has a little bit of coral to it and these lipsticks are just perfect Okay, now let's move on to the next two lipsticks and i have saved the best for the last now please guys don't kill me these lipsticks are pretty expensive but they are worth your every single penny if you just get one this is gonna go a really long way you cannot just finish it up you guys even the mocha i bought the mini one but the lipsticks are so opaque you don't have to apply it a lot so they are just one swipe pigmentation and it's gonna stay on you throughout the day it doesn't uh, transfer that one and i am someone who who is not even bothered about transferring my lipsticks because i always carry what lipstick i'm wearing that particular day so even if it transfers a little i just reapply it so it's not a problem for me but even if you are bothered about the lipstick transfers or not yeah it transfers a little but once it settles down it just stays on its place and it doesn't move that much so i really like mac lipsticks you guys know so uh, what happened is i was kind of bored with my same velvet teddy and taupe and mare so i thought of buying a couple of new mac lipsticks so i invested in mac mocha and i got this one this is in the shade over the top and i also got more the merrier that i'm going to show you next this is in the shade over the top and you guys can see how opaque it is and uh, the pigmentation is insane and you guys can see the wand is quite different and from the other lipsticks so when first i got it i was like uh, the wand is not something that i like but the wand is really nice and it has a lot of products to it so when i apply i just uh, scrape off the extra products and then i apply because it holds a lot of products and you don't need that much so yeah that's a tip and this is in the shade over the top such a beautiful taupey brown shade love this one after my maybelline nude nuance that's my absolutely favorite this is in the shade over the top love this one and now let's move on to the next and the final lipstick and i have saved the best for the last because this one is my absolutely favorite all right save the best for the last and if you have been following me for a while now you will know that this one is my current favorite love this one using it every single day whenever i'm going out and this lipstick is oh my god it's so beautiful i was in love with the shade mare but now this is more the merrier and this is even more beautiful than mare and that's a statement you can just write it down this lipstick looks better than mare love this one my current favorite lipstick i don't know how long i'm gonna use it but i think this is gonna be my favorite for a very long time and the formula is so comfortable it's powder matte so when you apply it it's very mousy on the lips but when it settles down it's powder matte and it needs a little bit of time to settle down and at uh, that time it can transfer a little but when it sets it sets and it doesn't transfer and it's very moisturizing on the lips so your lips won't feel very dry and cracky and that's something i really like about this lipstick love this one highly recommend it i know this one is a little bit pricey but once you get it you will know that it's worth every single penny and this is in the shade more the merrier you can see that how pigmented this lipstick is and it's very opaque one swipe pigmentation 
love this one so this is in the shade mac mocha this is in the shade over the top and this one is more the merrier <laughs> So you guys can see these are my current favorite lipsticks but if you want me to choose just two shades I would definitely choose the shade Bear Hug and More The Merrier. So this one is More The Merrier and this one is the shade Bear Hug. Love this too. So yeah guys that's it that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do then definitely let me know in the comment section below and also give this video a big thumbs up it helps me a lot and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah that's it for today's video i will see you in my next video